All right, number two. Number two, irresistible free offers. I love this guy. Yes. That's what you want somebody to be feeling when they land on your website. As Fabian said, yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. How do I opt in? How do I get what you've got to offer? And the best way that you can introduce them to that is by giving them something for free. That's how you authentically get them on your list, right? It's not a bait and switch. And please, oh please, oh please, if this is you, I'm sorry, but don't do that and don't do this. Sign up for our, not newsletter, but our awesome newsletter. I'm sure it's really awesome. Join our mailing list. Be the first to know of new arrivals. New arrivals of what? Stuff that you can sell me? I'm so excited for that, right? Who wants another newsletter? Raise your hand if you want another newsletter. Newsletter. Anyone? Okay. You want content. You want relationship. You want value. That's the juice. That's the sauce in the newsletter. So what you're going to do is you're going to lead with an irresistible free offer. That's what I said, an ethical, I call it a bribe. It is, call it what it is. It's an ethical bribe. I'll give you something of value for free. You provide me your contact information. If they want what you have and you're willing to give it away for free, then it's in alignment, right? Like when Fabian shared yesterday this idea of the free CD, print it, ship it, send it overseas, whatever, you're crazy. It's a couple dollars for each person. But they want it and they're excited to get it. They're our ideal prospect. So it's willing, you're willing to put that out there, pulls them towards you. It's not about pushing. You're not about like, you know, better get on my list or else. It's not about that. So I love this analogy. Fabian's been using this and I think it's fantastic. I actually walked by a Baskin Robbins. I don't even know they were just still in business. I kind of wanted to go in to see if they still had the, the pink spoon, but that's the equivalent of actually getting the freebies. Like, let me just have a little taste. If I like it, then I might buy it. That's exactly what you're doing with your free gift. You're not giving away the farm, don't worry. You're not giving away your whole kit and caboodle and then have nothing else to offer, but you gotta give them something of value that makes them really excited and really like, wow, this is really good. And you lead with the gift. You don't lead with the newsletter, all right? Because the gift is what gets them. It's what grabs their attention. It's the thing that makes them stay on your website more than 2.9 seconds because they think, I want that free CD, I want that free report, I want that checklist, I want that video, audio, kit, whatever that may be. That's what you lead with, and then getting them onto the list and sending them the newsletter, that's what you do afterwards. That's how you build that relationship. You guys with me so far, is this okay? You good? All right, bring it, booyah, yeah, booyah! So in addition to your free gift, here's the language. You'll also receive a free subscription of weekly, what? Tools. Tools. Please don't call it tips. Tips diminishes what you're offering. I don't want a tip. A tip is like, you know, your flies unbutton. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Done. Give me a strategy. Give me a technique. Give me really, really good, valuable stuff. And even if you don't have a newsletter yet, I'm going to walk you through how to do that and when to send it and everything else, but the, the newsletter is the afterthought. So here are some of the most commonly used irresistible free offers, right? If you don't have a free offer yet, that's fine, right? Start easy. Start with something, all right? If there's anything that you're going to get from this, next, this, this session is... Come up with an offer does not have to be like, oh my gosh, I gotta go shoot video and I gotta do like market research and I spend like weeks creating something. No, you guys already have it. It's probably somewhere on your computer. It just needs to be formatted into something that's like an audio or a free report. I mean, Fabian did it for years with the 151 ways checklist. It's a one page PDF. That's it. It's actually, I say, sometimes more important about how you present your offer and how compelling it is to the visitor to opt in than actually what you give to them. Because if you give them something good, then it's how you present it. So free CD, you could do the free CD. I love the free CD. Free audio, it can be like a download, Audible MP3. A free report, a free ebook, a free checklist, 
right? Free video. You can actually send them a DVD if you wanted to, or you could just give them a free video online. Free starter kit. Love the idea of a starter kit where you kind of combination a few things together, right? A downloadable MP3 plus a checklist. It's got that wow factor. And then a free white paper or like a manifesto. I love that word, manifesto. I think the most compelling offer is the free CD. We've been using it for years. It's what's worked. It's why we don't change it. It's compelling. It has what I call like this thump factor. When you get it in the mail, it's like a package. People open it. They want to consume it. The great thing about getting something in the mail like the free CD is it has what I call a high consumption factor. People are actually going to take the time, put it in their CD player, I guess, if it still exists, or their car, or their computer, and listen to it. They'll still do that with something online, like an audio or a checklist, but I think it's going to be more likely to be fully consumed if it's actually on a CD. But here are some examples. These are directly from our students, what they're doing right now. We've got Lucy, Christine, Elvira, Mariellen, all doing the free CD. And you'll notice they all have three things. Video, opt-in, offer. Good job. <laughs> Doesn't have to be the CD. All right, here are some examples of downloadable audio. We got Beth, Stacy, Laura, and Tiffany. All right, same thing. Most of these, if not yeah, all of them, video opt-in offer. All right? Just provide something of value. Free report. Again, notice what also works really, really well. Look at Katie up in the top. What does she have? Yeah, it's, people say, but you're not actually giving them in, in it's not physical, but you can demonstrate that it's, it's in the physical image, meaning it grabs their attention. Studies show that conversion rates increase, meaning conversion is the number of people that opt in. That increases by 10 to 15% when you have an image of the thing that you are offering. So if you have an audio right now in an MP3 and all you say is get my audio, you can have a very simple graphic designer create an image that shows what that report looks like. I've just increased your conversions 15%. Booyah. Booyah. You're welcome. You can also do a video, webinar, starter kit, right? Whatever that may be, something of value for free, all right? I've got a few more kits. We've got Deb and a few others. Just have something of value. Have something there. Where do you put it? You promote it everywhere. Fabian talked about this in the marketing session. Your business card, your teleclasses when you're speaking, AdWords, pay-per-click advertising. We're going to talk about that. The list goes on and on. The idea is that you want it to be available so if somebody's finding you online, on your website, on social media, on your business card, at a speaking event, whatever that may be, they want to know that you have something of value to give to them, your free offer. So demonstrate that. Offer it out there. Market it. Promote it. That's the thing that's going to get them onto your list. And then the opt-in is where they enter their information to get access to your free gift. It's literally just the boxes, first name and email. You could do more than that. You can ask for first name and last name and email, but unless you have a specific strategic reason of asking for it, I wouldn't recommend it. I think the less information you ask for, the higher the number of people will opt in, okay? That's why when we do our free CD, we don't ask for everybody's information, like their address and zip code. We don't ask for that from the very beginning. We do it strategically. I'm going to walk you through exactly how we do it so you can model it and do it for yourself, all right? Oh, yeah. So have your web person put it everywhere, your landing page, every page on your website. You know, this is the great thing about using something like WordPress. You don't actually have to have your web guy put on every single page. WordPress has something available that actually shows it on every page automatically, right? So this is like leveraging the technology that's there where you're thinking, oh, every page on my website, that's going to take a long time. No, it's actually you do it once and it shows up everywhere. Your business card, articles, social media. And then use video to direct your visitors on how to get your IFO. When we started using video on the clientattraction.com homepage, our conversion rates were good, meaning the number of people in that analogy of 100 people landed, how many opted in, they were good, 20 30%, which is pretty good. When we started to use video, 40 50% conversion rates. Just by having a video, a minute-long video, walking the website visitor through the process of how to enter their name and email. I mean, it's not like 
rocket science. The cool thing is, though, the people, when they opt in having watched a video, they're more qualified, they're more engaged, they're more interested, they're more excited, they're more compelled to take another action because they've, they've watched you. They've just built a relationship with you by looking into your eyes on video for 60 seconds. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. So video is a game changer, and it increases conversion better than audio and better than text. Not just in opting in, but in sales. How many of you are here because you watched a sales video of Fabian talking about MYM? Raise your hand. Either the video about the tour or about the event. Raise your hand. Right. So the video can be used everywhere. So you might be asking yourself, well, what do I say on the video, Derek? I don't know. Like, how do you, what's the script? Well, here's the script. Here's exactly what you say on your opt-in video. It's pretty simple. It's a five-step formula. <laughs> you say who you are, what you have, why they need it, how to get it, when to expect it. So, for example, I'm going to role play and pretend I'm Fabienne because I scripted the video for her when she did this. Hi, I'm Fabian Fredrickson, your client attraction mentor and founder of clientattraction.com. I'm so excited that you landed on my website. I have a free audio CD that's going to teach you exactly how to attract all the clients that you need, make more money, and live the life that you love. If you're looking to attract more ideal high-paying clients that are willing to pay for your services, buy your products and programs, and have a better business, then you're in the right place. In order to get my free audio CD, simply enter your name and email on the boxes on this page, click the send my free CD button, and I will send you that free CD in the next few days. Thank you so much and have a great day. That's it. That is it. If you watch the video, it's pretty much, she probably does a better job than I do, but that's pretty much the model. So all you have to do is take out whatever you what, you know, our, we have the CD, put in your IFO, put your name. It doesn't have to be a long video. It could be 60 seconds. It's really, really simple, okay? How many of you can do that? Yeah? Awesome. How many of you will do it? Thank you, Scott. Excellent. <laughs> Booyah. Booyah! Thank you. We have your email addresses. I know your websites. I'm going to go check all you guys out and see if you've actually done this. Seriously. <laughs> Put in a video. How many of you have an iPhone? How many of you have an iPhone? You guys know there's an HD camera on the iPhone, right. right? You have the script. Just do it. Do it by the end of the day. Send it to your virtual assistant. Get it up there. This is not rocket science. You're the, oh, but the thing and the video and the lighting, just freaking do it. All right?